On today's episode of Identity, fitness guru and exercise scientist Morena Majila is in our coffee shop. We have an encounter with the Christian organization PIN. Our What's Happening segment features the review of a health and happiness app. We also review a website that gives practical information about mental and emotional health. And we play out with the track Guano Lali by Unati. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Sanbonani Mzansi siyane mugela gulisholo lo tengolo leto ashuga shugene lwe banfula basha. Lena i identity minel kama ni mpumi wagambet. Ito lo besibunga ata lusugu lalaba sigati la Mzansi. The 9th of August commemorates the day when thousands of women took a stand and marched to the union buildings in petition against the past laws that discriminated against them and restricted their movement. September ni ulitwa hotele le lisugu nge kumbu lala matkawegati apambilili ganye na lawo les pila na unyalo. Today the Hindu community celebrates Raksha Bandhan, which means bond of protection. This is the acknowledgement of the sacred bond between a brother and sister. It is celebrated with the tying of Raki, a holy thread around a sibling's wrist, symbolizing the sister's love and prayers for her brother's well-being and the brother's lifelong vow to protect his sister. We wish our Hindu viewers a blessed Raksha Bandhan. Nyalo asesikwe tfulele salomu tlasipo sikale ngesivakashi sethu. I identity ignigeta tinsita tekwa kai ngondvo ukhutsateke nasemoyeni. We also know that these two are incomplete without combining them with physical health and fitness. My guest today is the go-to guy when it comes to physical fitness. Morena Machila is a certified exercise scientist, a personal trainer and a strength and conditioning coach. He is also the owner of Fitness ER South Africa, a company that aims to help you live a better life today. This young man is passionate about health and fitness and I can't wait to glean some knowledge from him today. Morena, Rao Amuhela, Moho Identity. Thank you very much. I want to know what kind of childhood you had. Were you like an active kid, sports at school? What were you like? Uh, I was always an active kid at school. Mm -hmm. I actually played most of the sports in my primary school. I played every single sports imaginable because I wanted to get a feel of which one would better suit me. In the end, I really didn't find what I really liked. Mm. But I did most of the sports and I enjoyed it. I grew up in a really relatively large family. My mm -hmm. parents worked hard to make sure that I had good education mm -hmm. and I lived in a good environment. And yeah, I owe them a lot because they, they're the reason why I'm here today. And you were raised in a Christian uh, family, but you uh, practice the Buddhist way of life. Yes. How does spirituality influence your lifestyle? Every, everything I do, mm -hmm. I make sure that I meditate on it before I do it. Mm. In Buddhism, it's called being mindfulness, mm -hmm. being mindful of everything that you do. Mm. With me and spirituality, it's always been from the get-go. Mm. I haven't taken up my oath and ordained as a Buddhist yet mm -hmm. because you have to go through certain things before you get to that level. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, I'm still studying and it's going well. And how would you say um, religion, spirituality influences our physical health or if it ties in together at all, the lifestyle that we live? Spirituality is very important for phys physical health mm -hmm. because it's very mental. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have a higher power that they look to. Mm -hmm. And you need that backing power to help you go through every day and to help you make good decisions and choices. So with exercise, what, what, we, what I do is that every time before we have our boot camps in the morning, mm -hmm. I sit everybody down and we meditate on health and good things to be able to prepare the mind for the activity. Because if your mind is weak, then your body's not going to, you have to start at the root, which is your mind. Mm -hmm. If you can start there, then your body's going to follow. So. Morena, a lot of people struggle with just committing to an exercise plan. <laughs> you decide to study exercise uh, science. Uh, Tell me about that. Uh, I became in inspired to do exercise science because I saw all the poor health that was happening in our country. At the moment, we are rated as the most obese country in yeah. the whole of Africa. So for us to be, for me to be able to help mm. 
would be of great immense it will be a great help for me, myself, to help. Because as a Buddhist, we do believe in helping other people. We come from a, a, a background of a lot of, ex a lot of um, activity. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we move into urban areas or we urbanize our standard of living, mm -hmm. we have dishwashing things to do the dishwasher, to do the dishes, and we've got um, clothes washers to wash our clothes. And we don't really do that much stuff. We become less active. We become less active, and then we end up being couch potatoes. There has to be a balance. You have to balance your, 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 your life with something else. You can go for a jog in the morning. Mm -hmm. You can wake up, you can, you can dance, mm -hmm. because we do a lot of dancing at, our, at my fitness boot camp. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of dancing, and people, don't even, people forget that they're exercising, which is a great thing, because a lot of people lose weight that way. But a healthy lifestyle also includes uh, a healthy diet and people say, okay, I can't afford gym membership and the healthier uh, food options are more expensive. You are an over-vegetarian. Yes. I thought vegetarian was just vegetarian. <laughs> Please explain the difference. There are different um, aspects of vegetarianism. Mm -hmm. There's vegan, veganism, which yeah. is what I'm aiming for. Veganism is basically that you don't eat any meat, poultry, fish. Mm -hmm. You don't have any dairy products or dairy. So you're basically surviving off of beans and fish, fruits and vegetables, basically. Mm -hmm. But you, you, once you get into the vegan lifestyle, because I'm over as over vegetarian, as you say, because mm -hmm. there's lacto, there's ovo, there's pescatarians. Mm -hmm. Over vegetarians are people who have cut out all dairy products, meat, fish, poultry, and people who only work, who only eat eggs. I'm only eating eggs at the moment mm -hmm. because I've got a lot of um, animal rights, ethics, ideas, and. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one of those people that strive for better ethics for animals and animal treatment. So that's one of the reasons why I became a vegetarian. It's the only reason I eat eggs is because I've got chickens at home mm -hmm. and they're free-range eggs and all my girls get enough care and loving girls. and TLC. <laughs> I call them my girls. <laughs> they get enough care and loving mm -hmm. and TLC from me so I know that the eggs are coming from a good place. Morena, you were employed in one of the country's largest health clubs yes. and you decided to start Fitness ER South Africa. Yeah. Tell me about that. I only worked in the gym to gain the experience as an intern, also to learn the ways of the industry, mm. which is something that is very important for a lot of people who are starting out in this industry. You need to learn how everything works in, an, in a gym environment. Mm. And then I went off and started Fitness ER. Mm -hmm. Fitness ER is just a business that I want to start that will offer a healthier option to a lot of people who can't afford the luxury of gym memberships, mm -hmm. because gym memberships are really pretty expensive these days. Mm -hmm. And you don't need a gym to get fit. You really don't. You just need the streets. You just need the streets. Just, you just the street. need your garden. If you've got steps at home, you can use the steps. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things you can do to get fit. You can use pots, fill them up with water, measure mm -hmm. them, make sure you've got a right kg. And you can use them in squats. You can use a lot of things at, the, at your house. You can use step ups for mm -hmm. fitness, for cardiovascular fitness, for stretching. You can also use a lot of stuff at your house. You don't need to go to the gym. You just need to be innovative and creative with the space that you've got. With the right commitment and discipline. <laughs> All right, let's work some of those uh, mental muscles. <laughs> you need to get to the person as quick as possible. He is a superhero. His weakness is kryptonite. Doom, doo, 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 oh, with a big yeah. S on his chest. That's Superman. <laughs> he was the eighth child in his family, born on the 29th of August in 1958. He is known as the King of Pop. Michael Jackson. <laughs> he is famous. He is a famous South African comedian known for pranking people. Some of his movies include There's a Zulu on My Stoop, Mama Jackie. Leon Shepster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to sing this one for you. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Sponge, bob, <laughs> <pens>. <laughs> uh, she's an African-American author, yes. poet, dancer, a actress, and singer. Her poem, Still I Rise, she wrote a tribute to our late Dr. Nelson Mandela. My Angela, I love her. <laughs> she's love her. a multi-Grammy winner. She was part of an all-girl band called Destiny's Child. Beyonce. Yeah, your boot camp was <laughs> themed around her. Thank you so much, Morena. No problem. Thank you for giving me the time to be here. All right. That was Morena. In the words of the Buddha, 
to keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our mind strong and clear. Nyetemba lingokuswane yami na murena ikinigete ingapgapi ukuthi nawe utilolonge emtimbeni wakho. Uma ngabe ukhutsatekile sati senge kusitfumela ku Twitter handle yethu @identitytvshow. Sisa sasa ikhefile mfishane when we come back we learn more about how a Pretoria based Christian organization is impacting the lives of young South Africans in the city. Sabiani This is my identity. This is my identity. You're watching Identity, the show that aims to get your week started on a spiritually uplifted note. I'm Bumimbete. Kule na nganye lselo uwe na njengi mbugeli ubae nganye yetfu, ngegu satisa ngenza bae mpagati wanga gini. Today we are heading down to inner city Pretoria to learn more about PEN, a Christian organization that is bent on igniting change and inspiring hope in their community. Our Encounters presenter for the day is high school student Khotso Morena. Khotso is one of the young people that are directly benefiting from the Christian-based teachings available at PEN. Usitfumele i email asimema guti sito bona leti funvo daga PEN leti basita guti babe banvu labang ngono asimbambe gu Skype. Hi Khotso, we received your email. Thank you so much for getting in contact with us. Tell us more about PEN. Thank you Bumi and the Identity team for honoring me with the response. Well basically PEN Infusion is just the youth ministry around Pretoria CBD that aims to improve the youth's life. Today I will be showing you around so you can see the work that God does for us. Thank you so much for getting in contact with us. Tell us more about PEN. Hello identity viewers, Livito Lagaken Nakoto Morena and it's today Little Lemo Pen Infusion and today I'm going to be showing you around so you guys can have a better understanding of how God works through us for us. Artene. Proverbs 19 verse 21 in the Bible says, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Here with me today I've got Dr. Marinda. Hello, Doctor. Hello. So when did Penn begin? The story of Penn started in, the, in an old congregation in the heart of the inner city, um, and we were registered in 1992. So we're nearly 21 years old. Would you say that the vision you started out with has remained constant throughout the years? That's a good question. Um, I would say we definitely kept to our core dream and the vision that we had in the beginning of Penn, and that is to change the hearts and the minds and the circumstances of people living in, this, in the inner city. Do you think that God has played a big role in everything that you have done? I'm convinced that God has changed me first. I think that was the first amazing experience that we had. If you look at our young people, because to me that's part of the passion that God has given in my heart is to change the lives of young people. And we definitely see beautiful young people coming to our programs, entering our education programs, the nursery schools, the safe homes. They definitely experience change and they come to know God and that changes their lives. Time now to speak to one of the students that we have here at Pen Infusion. Hello, Pretty. Hi. Um, so, what brought you to Pen? Well, actually, a friend of mine introduced me to this place, and I decided one afternoon that I have to come with her because she used to force me all the time. And then I came once, and after that, I come every Wednesday, possibly. What are your favorite classes here at Pen? I would start with um, the contact. The contact is where we meet up with other children from other places. They come to us and then we have a day event and then we enjoy their company. And I would also go with the Yada Moments. Yada Moments is actually intimacy with God. This is where we have our little corner key, quiet, small place, and then we just come and communicate with God on a personal level. It takes a village to raise a child and no one does it better like Pen. Hello Timbela. Hi, how are you? So what made you come back to Pen as a volunteer this time? 
As a volunteer, what made me come back was the lessons that we had learned here at Penn, and one of the things was that we should give back to our communities. Seeing the children working together, and despite all the challenges that they, they have at home and what's going on in their life, they come here, work together, set their differences apart, and do their thing. Hi, Pindile. Hi, Kata. How are you? Absolutely fabulous in you. I'm good. So what brought you to Penn? Well, I must say it has to be the free time. I didn't know what to do with my free time after school, so I ended up here at Penn. So are there any key messages that are engraved within your heart and your mind? Yes, that I am wonderfully and fearfully made in God's image and that it's not just about the picture that you see in the mirror, but the spirit within you that has grown to become so close to God's power. Uh, hello, Garabo. Hey. Do you feel like Payton operates as a family? It's more than a family, bro. It's, it's a place where I can become myself, and it's a place where if I have any problem whatsoever, whether religious or just a personal problem, I could just go to anybody here and just talk to them. And they, they don't, they're not really judgmental, and they won't make me feel like I'm excluded. But then they really care. If I have to put it that way, it's more than a family to me. Ignite change, nurture togetherness, and heal the communities is one of the mottos here at Penn. Now I'm going to be chatting to one of the people that help drive this belief home. Hi, Sue. Hi, Koto. Now, um, teaching is not something that everyone can do. Now, how did you know that this is what God called you to do? I've always had a passion for people and more specifically with teenagers um, and I'm so privileged to live it out right here at Penn. Teenagers have incredible potential and I want them to discover that and develop that potential and through journeying, through one-on-one -on -one relationships I can do just that and that inspires me immensely. It is also said that teachers learn something from the students. Now what is the lesson that you have learned from your students? I definitely have learned perseverance. You know, I think you guys are just sometimes faced with so many life challenges and you are faced with so much things to do in, 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 on a daily basis. And you guys just keep on trying, keep on pushing, keep on trying to, to make life better. That really, really encourages me and to be able to come every day and spend time with you guys. Psalm 105 in the Bible says, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Now this is a scripture that keeps me going day in, day out. It reminds me that the Lord is with me wherever I go. And I'd like to thank you, the identity team, for coming and spending the day with us. It has been great and yeah, check you some other time. Bye. Sibonge kakhulu khotso nelisimba lephela ngekusitfumela indzaba yenu. Kuyajabulisa kubona abantu labasha labasebentisa likholo lwabo ngokuthi qapha. Ungasitfumela yakakho indzaba nge-email ku identitytvshow@gmail.com singayitfokotela kakhulu. After the break, we take a look at what's trending on the media front with this week's app and website review. Today we are featuring an app that offers DIY tips for health and happiness as well as a website that promotes mental and emotional health. This is my identity. This is my identity. Thank you for keeping it locked on identity right here on SABC One Zanzi for sure. If you just joined us, here's what you missed. Certified exercise scientist and fitness expert Morena Majila got the show off to a great start with a chat about health and fitness. Today's Encounters presenter introduced us to PEN, a Christian organization that is helping young people to stay rooted in the gospel through the pressures of modern day living. Now it's time for today's media reviews. Let's check out what's happening. More and more people are joining the move towards opting for a more natural and organic lifestyle. Today's app is aimed at making this type of lifestyle more accessible on the go. It's called Yos. This app is based on a Sanskrit term meaning health and happiness. 
Designed to encourage a community of people who are aware of safer and healthier living alternatives, the YAS app offers a collection of DIY tips to help you live a healthier and chemical-free life. For a quick look at the latest health, beauty and fitness tips, select the What's Hot tab. For a list of homemade skin and hair care treatments, select the Beauty tab. Here you will find a number of recipes that use organic and chemical-free ingredients. If you are looking for ways to vary your fitness routine, then the Fitness tab will certainly come in handy, with its selection of videos with workouts ranging from yoga to cardio and even meditation. The Recipes tab gives you a list of healthy, easy-to-prepare recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. The app also offers a list of various home remedies for everything from sunburn to sore throat, detoxing and de-stressing. So whether you are interested in mixing your own scrubs or lotions at home or simply want to know which health, beauty and personal care products to switch to that are safe for you and for the environment, you will find the YOS app handy. Keeping with the theme of health and happiness, today's website offers information and practical guidelines for dealing with mental and emotional health issues. It's www.helpguide.org. Dedicated to the website founder's late daughter, Helpguide.org is a non-profit mental health website devoted to giving information that is practical, motivating and easy to understand. It provides over 250 articles on mental health, relationships, parenting, aging well and nutrition amongst other topics. Topics are listed in alphabetical order, making it quick and easy to find the information that you are looking for. Select your preferred topic and it leads you to a page with a help guide as well as various articles that offer advice on different aspects of each condition or situation. If you are suffering from anxiety, simply click on the anxiety tab and get instant access to articles on a range of topics such as therapy for anxiety disorders, information about anxiety medication as well as phobias and fears. The website also offers a Teen Issues Help Guide which gives information on topics such as help for parents with troubled teens, anger management tips and dealing with cyberbullying. Get a self-help guideline to understand, prevent and resolve life's challenges by visiting www.helpguide.org today. Nine begnen, tinza ba ti peli se mane gualas kat. Se tembe gutsi uta ubuka si mosembi loyako, mtimba ingon vone mpef mulonje, ubese wenda lunji injo lul fanele. Let us know what positive lifestyle changes you have made by getting in touch with us. Send an email to identity tv show at gmail.com or hit us up on Facebook and Twitter by searching for identity tv show. You can also get a behind the scenes glimpse into the show by liking the identity tv show profile on Instagram. The beautiful songstress Unati wraps up the show for us with her track Guanolali. From me, Mbumimbete and the Identity team, have an awesome week.